After Tuesday night's lavish dinner for the world leaders and their companions, Spanish Queen Leticia stepped out on Wednesday to showcase the Spanish culture to the partners of the world politicians attending the 32nd NATO summit in Madrid. Leticia accompanied the First Lady of the US Dr. Jill Biden, French First Lady Brigitte Macron, and more than 20 partners of other leaders for a day out. The first stop of the day was the Royal Palace of Logranza to San Il Defenso. Segovia is northwest of Madrid, where this week's NATO summit is taking place. The ancient medieval town is famous for its medieval walls, Roman churches, and medieval castles, which served as one of the templates for Walt Disney's Cinderella Castle. The city center was declared a World Heritage by UNESCO in 1985. The royal site of Lugrenza de San Edfonso, declared a historic monument, is one of the best examples of the monarchical splendor of the 18th century. King Philip V, the first Bourbon to reign in Spain, fell in love with this beautiful place back in 1717 and decided to build a palace and gardens adorned with sculptures and fountains that reminded him of his childhood in the French court of his grandfather, King Louis XIV. The group toured the gardens of the royal palace. The gardens have a number of fountains with themes from mythology. The Fountain of Apollo, the Fountain of Neptune, and the Fountain of Andromeda. Wearing a chic summer dress from Laura Bernal, paired with head and shoulder rectangular MM band, Macarena shoes, and Tao's earrings, Leticia was all smiles during the tour. The First Lady of the U.S. made it a family affair. Her two granddaughters, Macy and Finnegan Biden, joined the spouses in their tour of the ancient medieval city. Also joining the outing was Gauthier Destiny, the husband of Luxembourg Prime Minister Xavier Bettel, who was the world's first openly gay Prime Minister. The spouses of leaders of Australia, Slovenia, Turkey, Belgium and other nations also participated. Spain has very positively used the occasion to showcase its history, architecture, and culture to the world. The world media is focused currently on NATO Summit, and Leticia, accompanying the partners of the NATO leaders to various tourist spots, brought the much-needed attention to the tourism sector of the country. The second stop of the day was the Royal Glass Factory of Logrenza. The Royal Glass Factory was built with the arrival of Bourbon density in Spain in 1727, when Philip V was the King of Spain. Financed by the Crown, the factory was installed as a small flat glass oven to supply windows and mirrors to the palace. The Royal Day Out ended at the Lina Sofia National Art Centre Museum. After the group photograph, the group visited to see the work Gorencia by Pablo Picasso. Rina Sofia National Art Center Museum is in the southern vertex of what is known as Madrid's Art Triangle, which includes two other famous museums. It is part of the famous landscape of light that was declared a World Heritage Site on July 25, 2021. After the tours, Queen Leticia and the group visited the family Newbell restaurant, which is known for its tapas and shrimp caviche. On Thursday, Queen Leticia accompanied the group to the Real Theatre in Madrid. They had breakfast at the Carlos III Hall, then they watched a performance at the Vergara Hall. The Royal Theatre is considered the first performing and musical art institute in Spain and is one of the main Spanish culture institutions. It also enjoys a significant international recognition. King Felipe and Queen Leticia are the patrons of the Royal Theatre Foundation. For the second day, Leticia was wearing a pink Carolina Herrera sleeveless dress with a beige Felipe Varela clutch, Carolina Herrera sling back pumps, and gold hoops. With the end of the NATO summit, we have arrived at the end of this week's agenda. We'll be back with more royal news. Stay tuned.